community means that we all need to really reach out and really listen and hear and see and be seen and creating awareness that no matter who it is that walks around you matter to me and I want to matter to you that's contagious if you persist with it it's contagious hopefully there are enough of us who don't run away when we see things that are scary and ugly to us culturally visually uh, emotionally you show your humanity you receive their humanity and conflict that's very powerful in not solving conflicts but making you know removing the ugly potential of what con conflict can be the fact that there's so many who come back to work on the gardens and welcome people to come in is a way of dealing with the conflict seeing beautiful people going from garbage can to garbage can getting returnable bottles the hopefulness is that the change we are seeing will not result in displacement but embracement of those people and grief but not be shocked when there are headlines that are ugly, you know, the next day. You know, because we live in a society that for many is a shocking reality. So many people are still fleeing to the suburbs in fear and in ignorance and in impatience. They don't want to wait for change. How do you overcome, you know, that, that cultural ignorance of each other, maybe? How do you overcome that? That's a big challenge. Community building is a difficult task, you know. And, uh, because we come from so many different places. Oh my God. Yeah. I often feel, you know, but I'm still that white man talking to non-white people. And I wish, I wish, if I wish in a, in a God, I wish that could somehow, somehow just not be. Each of us is infinitely unique beautiful uh, and in its in a mobile reality free say through dryness one would split it would that whole universe would be out of balance so everything is so so important to the balance of be so nice if our communities could be that way <laughs>